Hey guys, this is Aaron. I wanted to take a look at a very fundamental extension today in the Bezier Curve Tool. This is a free extension available through the Accenture Warehouse from the SketchUp team. This is an incredibly simple way to draw curves as opposed to lines, uh, segments, or sections of circles, which are curves, but they're all uh, symmetrical. So this will actually let you have a couple control points to control how you place your curves in. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Bezier Curve tool to work on my new 2D component here. So I have my reference image loaded and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to draw and choose Bezier Curves. This is where the Bezier Curves tool will live when you have it installed into SketchUp. I'll click on Bezier Curves and it's going to ask me first to pick a start point. So I'm going to do the top of my head first. I'm going to click right here at the back of the ear. And now it's going to say, click an end point. So I'm going to come around. I'm going to try to do my whole head as a single curve. I click right here. Now it's going to ask you to place your first control point. So what this is going to be is this is going to choose how the curve leaves the first point. So as I pull this up, you can see I'm stretching the first point. Now it's easy to think that this is the curve I'm creating, but it's actually not. This is just the first half of the curve. Once I place this point, I'll get a chance to, to set the point for the second part of the curve. So what's really important here is how this curve leaves that first point. So that looks pretty good right about there. Once I'm done with that, now it's gonna let me place that second point. And this is where I can really, I can fine tune to get that curve just right. Or I can do things like pull that curve back through itself to make multiple curves along the line. In this case, I want to try to follow that, that, uh, that uh, image as much as possible. So that's going to bring it back a little bit like this. I'm going to click there. It's a pretty good looking curve. I'm going to pull a curve from my hair right from here up to here. Again, pull down. Uh, maybe come out a little bit like this. Just enough so that it does cross that line. Now I do want to come in and make sure I break and delete that later. Right now, I'm just going to keep that line as it is. All right, so the other thing that's really nice about Bezier Curves is the functionality you get from inferencing. So I'm going to click this point down here, and now I'm going to actually use inferencing to pull the purple line. The purple line is the control point from that last end of that last curve. So by pulling the purple line, I know that this new curve will stay in line with where that last curve ended. See that? And then I will keep my curve down there. Do another one right here to close up the head again. Purple, blue, excuse me. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna use Bezier Curve to, to finish off the head real quick. Okay, so something you want to notice here, none of my surface is closed up because I have a whole bunch of uh, wires shooting off my face. Like I mentioned before, I can use inferencing with this tool and should be. So when I actually come in here to draw my curve, I want to make sure that my points are on the surface. But not only that, but my handle stay on the surface too. See right now how my handle is purple, that means it is staying on the surface. If I come off that face, I see the purple handle goes away. So I do wanna make sure that as I'm doing this, I'm watching inferencing, just like I would be if I was drawing with a regular tool, to make sure that I draw everything on plane as I need to, especially for something like a face me component, of course.
So that's my face me component drawn with Bezier curves. Now one thing you do want to keep in mind is that these curves they look like nice smooth lines but they are of course made up of smaller segments. So any given line in here, I pick one line, shows up initially when I select it as a curve. However, if I take and explode that curve, it's going to tell me that's actually 20 edges. So just something to be mindful of, that you are creating uh, a bunch of edges when you use Bezier curves. In the case of a face me component, if I put in a lot of detail, it could mean making this model kind of heavy. But it is a way to get nice smooth curves with just a couple of clicks. So that is Bezier curves. Thank you.